June is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, and according to the CDC, suicide rate among men is about four times higher than in women, which makes about 80% of suicides that are men. Well, we're joined this morning by Mr. Jonathan Bohan. He's the Director of Military and Veteran Services at Emergence Health Network. Jonathan, thank you so much for waking up with us this morning. I want to start with a simple question, but maybe it isn't so simple after all. Why is men's mental health so important? Well, it's important because it can it can impact it impacts uh, most of their life. So whether it's uh, performing at the job, mm. or um, you know, uh, uh, the communication with the family, or mm. or even keeping that meaning and purpose. Mm -hmm. You know. And tell us, what do you usually see here in the borderland? You work with a lot of, obviously, military personnel, with veterans as well. What are some issues that they're facing here in the borderland? Yeah, um, uh, so, uh, a lot of it's just uh, getting into services. Um, the stigma is the biggest thing. Um, a lot of times in the military or um, just around men in general, mm -hmm. uh, they'll want to solve the issue on their own. They don't want to, they look at this as a burden. They don't want to put on their families. So a lot, of, a lot of times it can lead to isolation, depression, um, and uh, just... Uh, could be um, un unhealthy forms of coping such as substance use and things of that nature. Is that is that the main things that you see like if if I had a friend out there or a family member that was a man and and you, you maybe think hey are they struggling what are some signs that you like to look out for for someone that might be struggling? Definitely irritability, isolation, mm -hmm. um, very short in conversations, avoiding uh, family events, uh, public functions and um, you know and you, you certain you see you have a certain feeling about something and you know they're mm -hmm. just having a hard time. Mm -hmm. And tell us how can, you know, they ask for help? Do you have any advice? Because like you said, the stigma, it's really hard to actually reach out for help. Do you have any advice for anyone struggling out there or maybe their family members, how they can help? Yeah, uh, um, you know, ed get educated on the programs in your local area um, and educate, you know, how to navigate that and um, just have an open and honest conversation while actively listening to allow time for that individual that you're trying to help to actually see what they have to say. Mm -hmm. What are some things that I can say to a family member, you know, when I approach them and, and say, hey, you know, I, I, this probably isn't the right way, but hey, you, you look like you're struggling. What are some things that you can do to initiate that conversation? Yeah, just make sure that, you, that, you know, the environment is safe and um, just tell them directly, but, you know, not too directly. You know, this is what I've observed, yeah. you know, and uh, I care about you and, um, and just try to be compassionate and as well as uh, caring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there something that you shouldn't say when you yeah, see like that someone oh, is struggling? Definitely stay away from things like suck it up or, you know, be a man and, you know, these type of th these things that have p powered these stigmas. Do you think that's one of the big issues why men's mental health is in the state it is right now because of sayings like, mm -hmm. hey, you know, rub dirt on it, just yeah. be a man well, about it? As a medic, in the, as a former medic in the military, you know, I have uh, been, there have been times where, you know, drink water, drive on and uh, like it, it takes some Motrin. And, uh, yes. and, and, you know, and uh, mental health is just as important, if not, you know, uh, def definitely in, as important as uh, physical health. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we think that if it's a broken arm, we send them to a doctor. But if it's something to, like depression or anxiety mm -hmm. or PTSD, um, there's no big deal, but it really is. Well, John, that's great stuff. I mean, it's something to think about all month. And, you know, there's lots of resources. Real quickly, can you tell our viewers if they want to reach out for help, what are some great resources, too? Yeah, well, uh, I, I, I run the Veterans One Stop. Um, it's uh, free to active duty veterans and their families and, and dependents. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, obviously, they can go to uh, emergencehealthnetwork.org uh, uh, for more information. And um, awesome. thank right. you for having me. Uh, thank, thank you, thank Jonathan. You so really appreciate it. Hey, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back to close out the show here on KTSM 9 News Today.